Alrighty, we are back with yet another video, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Today, oh wait, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Pelisa Mini, and if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, Sabi, welcome back, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Oh, I have come up with a new segment called Style Forecast, and today I will be doing the autumn slash winter edition because those are the seasons that, that we are in or going into or will be going into in the next few months to one few weeks, I don't know. So what basically this segment will involve is I will be looking into looks that are done on the runway and then I'll kind of like bring them down and then show you guys which influencers or blogger, fashion bloggers have been pulling them off just to give you ideas as to how you can pull them off and then cherry on top i will be showing you guys where you can get those specific items which i think are key to the look if you guys hear babies crying people shouting kids screaming men shouting whatever i'm so sorry we are in lockdown i am stuck with my family i asked them to keep it down but they ain't gonna do it okay so there we go there he goes. Exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> I want to go back to my place. I'm not even joking. <laughs> like, guys, I am up to here. Let us get into our first look. I'll be doing five looks, by the way. So, look number one. It is an oversized camel coat seen on Versace's runway. And obviously our very own Kifilwe Mabute was seen rocking this. I love Kifibu, by the way. Kifilwe wearing this camel coat, um, all black. I don't know if it's a body glove or it's like a polar neck and tight. I am not sure. But I love how she really dressed it down and just simplified it. This is a very casual look. And you can get this um, camel coat from Superbalist. Um, it's from Misguided from what I've seen on the website, but you can definitely get it from Superbalist. So I love the detail. It's beautiful. It's not as basic as the other ones. It's definitely an oversized one. And it's, guys, the thing about winter wear is that it is relatively expensive. So the second look I will be looking into is embroidered stockings or pantyhose. So guys, as you can see, Zoe Msutwana is rocking, literally rocking this look. Okay, she, it's such a clean, chic look. If she said she was dressed in Coco Chanel, because she's doing the damn, the, yes, she's doing the damn thing, you know? So you can obviously get stockings literally from anywhere. But it's specifically the embroidered ones. You can get them from Woolworths. Um, okay, and item number three that we'll be looking at is what we call balloon sleeves. On the runway, we see Fendi rocking this and, and many other designers, which I probably cannot pronounce. This is a look that we probably... Um, I know it's a 40s look, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It is a 40s look originally, but it has come back, especially even with the Victorian necklines, they're all coming back but specifically these balloon sleeves i love them and i know at first glance you will feel like um sweetie this this is a bit much okay so over here we see sia bunny rocking this look guys never mind the shirt i love her hairdo like i don't know like it's not overly dramatic but i love the drama behind her hairdo like sis like i'm here for it so she is rocking this um blouse this balloon sleeve blouse she's wearing it with these um beautiful bootleg white jeans which is just making it like it's really pulling the look together and if you guys want something similar pretty little thing has it in the same color also very detailed it's going for about 220 rand 
has it. And then Mr. Price also has something similar if you're not really trying to do um, online shopping, especially from abroad. Um, they have some a beautiful white blouse with the balloon sleeves. I feel like you can do a very similar, if not the same look with that white blouse. Rots! Yes. Now we go on to look number four. Now this is by far, like by far my favorite look ever. Especially because I've actually seen it multiple times, but I always mise. I don't know why. But now it's like, okay, I need to hop on that choo-choo. Because clearly in Zoshiega, if I don't. Over here we see latex or faux leather pants. Guys, on the runway, Bowman is like rocking this off. And I feel like there's no reason for us to not be hopping on that as well. And it's a beautiful look. Um... My favorite thing about um, latex pants or faux leather pants is how good your ass looks. <laughs> Have you guys seen how good your behind looks in faux leather or latex? Like, you know, like when the light, the light hits at the right angle and it, it just looks, you know, like, I don't know if I'm making sense, but like it makes your butt look so good. And I would literally buy it just for that reason alone. Um, but over here you can see Uzamanguni. I hope I'm pronouncing her saying properly, correctly. She is rocking the whole leather pants thing. It looks great. Um, she's dressed it up in such a simple... I feel like all these looks are simple but can look so chic. She's, rock, she's rocking it off. Okay guys, our last look... <laughs> I know when you look at the picture, you're like, which one is this one now? But this is like, how do I explain? Like when you look at this, you're like, this is something you definitely would not wear. There's no way I'm going to bring this into perspective. How would one even be able to pull this look off, etc, etc, etc. But guys, you know what? One thing that I took away from these looks that you can see like... Gucci is doing, Louis Vuitton is doing. Um, it's basically like layering clothes. I don't know if that makes sense. And one person that I actually saw do this months back was Sarah Langa. Sarah Langa was wearing this um, blazer, this camel blazer. And she's wearing like a, co a camel coat over it. And she's wearing like the same color pants. And I'm like, sis, how did you even think to do that? Like, it's such a cool look. Um, especially for the season that is coming for us. It's an amazing look. Another person I've seen do it, but in a different way, is Sarah Jo Holder. She's also a blogger. I think she's a Brit British blogger or... Yeah. Don't know, but yeah. She's a UK blogger, I think. And she she wore a, a hoodie and a blazer underneath. And I feel like that's such a cool way to put it together. Like, it's a very casual way to wear... A blazer but also make it look casual you thought you you, you you dig most like you love me dogs like you got what i'm trying to say i don't want to call it street style but it looks it's a very chilled look and i really think that you know obviously this is something that everyone should hop onto and obviously i don't want to say this is where you can get these items because it's it's literally pieces you can randomly pull pull together from your closet so yeah guys so the next time i actually do this segment i hope that i will actually be dressing up and wearing those items just to show you guys how to pull them off because obviously i don't want to be like oh it looks simple oh this is how it should be done yet i can't even do it so i would like to you know stand in front of the camera and show you guys the looks myself but like i said my stuff are not here they are back in gauteng as we are speaking. Stay tuned.